Hi, I'm Brandon from Cointelli. In this video, I'm going to take you through our tax professional software step-by-step. -step. Everything from the initial sign-up all the way through downloading your client's tax reports will be covered in this video. Let's get started. First, go to Cointelli.com and click Get Started. Next, in the gray box that says, Are you a tax professional? Click Sign Up Now. In this window, you can choose your tax software and click save. Or if you are using a different type of software, you choose, I use a different type of software and you can set up your account that way. Next, let's set up your account details. From here, you can create all of your user account information. we can skip through and then click create account next just verify your email great once you've verified your email you can go and sign in make sure you're in the tax professionals section and then click sign in now from here when you're in your dashboard Click the country, which of course, in our case, would be the United States, and click continue. And this is your client management dashboard. So when you make an account, the first thing you'll see is this client management dashboard. From here, you can see an overview of the whole process. From the left side, we have your credits, which I will explain, your clients, and then the difference, the four stages that your clients will be in. From the first, we have the credits. The credits correspond to the number of tax years that you're going to be filing. So let me explain that. When you add credits, each credit will correspond to one of your client's tax years. For example, if you have a client named Susie who needs to file crypto taxes for 2020 and 2021, then you're going to purchase two credits. In that case, you'll click the plus sign until you see the amount of credits you want and then you can pay from this window here. And then you can, it'll take you to the checkout window like so. And so each credit corresponds to a tax year. If you have, let's say 10 clients and nine of them are filing for 2021 only, and then you have one that's filing for 2020 and 2021, then you'll have 11 credits, right? So from this window, you hit, you get to the amount of credits that you need, and then you go pay for that. Now, well, Quintelli offers a discount for buying in bulk. So the more you purchase, the more clients you have to service, the more of a discount you'll get. And like it says here, one credit is applied to each tax reporting year. So one credit, one tax reporting year. So let's go back to our dashboard. And then next, what you wanna do is after you've figured out how many tax years you have and how many credits you need, then we need to start inviting the clients. So you're gonna start by clicking on invite clients. Once you're here, you can type in the client's name. Um, for example, Brandon, right, that's me. And you can type in Brandon's email at, at uh, gmail.com, right? And then hit add. And then you can, from here, you can then apply the amount of credits. So let's say that Brandon needs to file three tax years. When you click the button, it'll open up the window where you can select the exact tax years that they need to file. So 2020 is 2021, sorry, is the default. Then we also have, you can add 2020 and 2019. Let's say I need to file for three years, maybe file some amended returns and then done, right? So as soon as you send it, you know, um, you can send a little message here and then you can actually go ahead and invite them, right? So, and then you can always remove that if you wish to um, change your mind. So once they're invited, then you can have you can look at it one of two ways. Once they're invited, you'll see the pending stage will light up with one. And then um, once that reminder, if they need to send a reminder, right? If you've waited at least 24 hours and they have not accepted the invitation, you can go ahead and send out an auto reminder. You can always remove them if for whatever reason, they decide not to um, file their crypto taxes or for whatever reason there's a change in plans 
You can always remove them before they accept the invitation and you can redeem the credits that you purchased. There's a few other options you can do in the manage client window. Um, you can send them an additional email. You can add a personal note for internal use. And you can also, of course, add any additional tax years in case that changes. So once the client has accepted the invitation, which I will do so, I will demonstrate that. Okay. So once the client, let's see, the client will receive an email, right? And then with a big button that says accept invitation. And once the invitation is accepted, they will then create an account and they can go ahead. And once the, once they accept the, by accepting the invitation, they will go in and create an account. Um, and then once they are in the account, they can accept it and begin to file their taxes, uh, their crypto taxes. So, so when the client accepts the invitation, you can see your accountant has sent you an invitation. So, right, it got accepted from Cointelli. And once they accept, it's updated as complete. Now, I was already using this account for another trial to, to, um, for testing something else, but then you can get the idea. So then once the client has accepted, let's see what happens. Ah, so once they have accepted, then they are moved to the in progress stage. This is the stage where the client will then start to import their transactions from their exchanges, their wallets, or other C or maybe a CSV file. This is the part that the client will do. So all that you will need to do at this point is to, again, you can set out a reminder. If it's not done, you can send it out, I think, uh, once in every 24 hours that will keep them moving through the progress and then once they have completed that then they will send you a report and then they will move into the download report stage so from there they're ready to download looks like i have looks like this client has two tax years that they need to download you can simply click download tax reports and from here you can download the tax reports from the year and your preferred uh, tax software. When you create an account, you'll be able to choose your tax software in the beginning. So if you work with ATX, um, you'll be able to choose ATX. But um, you can also uh, choose, you know, another tax software for whatever reason um, you want that option. We, we give it to you. Then from there, you can download your, your file, right? For a CCH, we're downloading an XLSX file for import. And then just like that, it's downloaded. And then you can review it if you like. You can then review it with the client. All right, so we should probably not show this because there's no, no information in there. But um, yeah, so then you can download it with your and view it. You can review it with your client. Or if everything looks good, you can then go ahead and import. And again, we also offer Schedule D, Form 8949, and of course, an income summary report. And so that's the main 90% of what you'll have to be doing with um, this client management dashboard. And then in order to keep yourself organized in case you have multiple clients across multiple stages, we also have a complete stage where once you've downloaded the reports, they're all good to go. You click complete. You can confirm that they are finished downloading and then they will be moved into the completed stage. So they are out of the main process and you can always go back and change their status at any time. Um, if for whatever reason, there's other changes that need to be made. And then once you have their report, you can again, seamlessly import it into your tax software and complete their return. So that is the tutorial for today. Um, we really, really hope that you enjoy this software and get a lot of use out of it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.